Good morning, homesteaders, gardeners, and cooks. My name is Jennifer. Welcome to Miles Away Farm, and thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen. Today, we are gonna make carne adovado. An adovado is a New Mexican style um, pork red chili, and it is absolutely fabulous, and it's one of my favorite, favorite things, and I really should make it more often than I do. I used to live in Durango, Colorado for many years, and we would travel down into New Mexico, and it was a staple down there and we fell in love with it and I've been making it ever since. The actual recipe for the red chili sauce is based on the recipe on the back of a bag of hatched New Mexico chilies. And that's a separate video and I'll put a link to it up above. And then the recipe for the pork itself is based on one from America's Test Kitchen, but I'll probably adapt it a little bit as I go. But we are gonna take this beautiful red chili sauce that we made a few days ago, and we're gonna turn it into fantastic New Mexico red chili dinner. Come join me. So this is the last pork shoulder that I had in my freezer. And the trick with pork shoulder, it's a wonderful cut of meat. It's got a lot of interconnected fat that cooks down beautifully in a braise and gives you a really wonderful texture. But it's got this great big bone in it that it can be a little tricky to work around. And so I'm just slicing off around the bone here as much as I can. And I really should be using a boning knife here instead of my chef's knife. But you know, sometimes you just keep going with what you picked up. And I'm just gonna cut this into one and a half inch chunks, give or take. And none of this extra will go to waste. We're gonna make a quick pork stock that will go to the puppies. A Little bit of extra fat cut off there, but not much. And I'm looking ultimately for three and a half to four pounds of chunked up meat. So I kind of hit it on the nail there. This is a tablespoon of kosher salt. And you want to mix that in so that it's thoroughly coated and then let it sit for about an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to make a quick pork stock. Once that pork's been sitting for an hour with the salt, I'm gonna add in our red chili paste. Give that a good stir. And some recipes will call for marinating it. And if I had been in less of a hurry, I might have thrown this back in the fridge and let it sit for six or eight hours. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put it directly into my Dutch oven. The nice part about this is I'm not browning the meat. So it's a really quick recipe because I'm not having to brown everything first. And that's going into a 325 degree oven for about two and a half hours. No extra liquid. So that pork is gonna release a lot of liquid and it's gonna create a beautiful braise without a lot of fuss. Meanwhile, here's our pork stock cooled off. And we have farm dogs, on, they boy. are rescue mutts and nothing ever goes to waste on our farm. And so this is the kind of treat that they live for. It's gotten to the point where every time I cook pork, they're just in the kitchen staring at me, waiting for something. That's Charlie on the right and Bodie on the left. And since somebody's likely to comment, we are okay with giving our dogs slightly cooked pork bones. We've been doing it for many, many years and fingers crossed, never had an issue. Two and a half hours later, our braise is finished. And I'm just gonna give this a stir and check for doneness. So I want that 
meat to be nice and tender but not dried out. And it is indeed perfect. I'm just gonna put the lid on this and let it sit and we'll have it for dinner. It's always better reheated and that's all there is to it. Carne Aravada. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, tribe. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. I have new content coming out every week.